the first time I met Hogan. I was on my way home and I thought I'd stop. I'd heard about this band. And I thought I'd stop, you know, and listen to the band play a set, which I did. And a, a big old blonde headed guy playing the bass guitar. So anyway, they finished their set. And, well, I'm gonna go home. I don't want the wife to worry about me, so. I walk out in the parking lot and I hear this deep voice, hey, Mr. Orton, Mr. Orton. And I turned around while we were talking about, you know, people trying me and stuff. You know, when you're the Florida heavyweight champion yeah. at 215, everybody tries me. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, funny. And, and I turned around and I looked and I seen Hogan and I went, oh my God, <laughs> am I in for it now? Oh, That's and I set my feet and he goes, he goes, I'd like to get into pro wrestling. Wow. He goes, where should I go? Wow. I said, go see Hiro Matsuda. I said, he's the best in town. He's at the Sportatorium. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and I was gone. Then, then did he call you like a couple weeks later and go, Hero broke my leg. Thank you for that advice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never got that call, but, but uh, he did all right. But you're the, you're the, yeah, guy, that, sure you're the guy that got it all rolling well, then, you huh? You know what? It's just something that happened. He would have gotten in business anyway. There's no yeah. doubt about that. I right. Mean, I mean, I mean, he was born for it. No doubt about it. So that I just happened to be there. Timing you know, is, right time, right place. Yeah, timing is you know, still, timing. still special. That's uh, Bob, we're growing up, we were... Uh, we were we grew up during the Bob Backlund Championship. War, sure, okay. Sure. Uh, you actually got two matches at MSG. You won the first one by countout, and the uh, blow off match was uh, a lumberjack match, which unfortunately you lost because we were always praying for someone to beat Bob. <laughs> so yeah, we we uh, always, we we always. hated Bob with yeah, a passion, yeah. and whoever came into town. And again, <laughs> I will tell you, growing up, right, I. I think I sported the cowboy hat for a couple yeah, of months. Yeah, you did. I, uh, you did. I have no hair now, but I even had thinner hair <laughs> when I was younger. You had that curly hair, so it was like, right. you and I just didn't match up. I tried. I had the vest. I tried the hat. It, it just didn't work. So. Well, thank you. Um, Me and Piper and Orndorff was, uh, was at a place in, in Allentown uh, uh, four or five years ago, I guess. And uh, these three guys come in. And one of them was dressed like me, one of them like Roddy, and one of them like Paul. It was amazing. <laughs> that is great. We just had a blast. They that is great. We really how, had a good time. How was it working with the guy we've really learned to appreciate, the great yeah. Bob Backlund? How yes. was it working with Bob oh, Backlund? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. He could do anything. Yeah, great, and great. you talk about a strong man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know pound for pound if I've ever met a stronger, mm -hmm. stronger human being. Greg Valentine said something interesting about him that when he worked with him, he actually learned a lot from him. His yeah. style, he was able to pull some of his style off, and sure. he taught actually Bob how to pace himself, believe it or not, a little bit because they were having those those Iron Man matches almost those really yeah. long matches. So, oh, Bob is amazing and in shape and fit. And, and so just, let me let me ask you this: coming into the WWE, a lot some wrestlers state that Bob was killing the WWE. We'll call, I say WWE, I know it was WWF, right? Mm -hmm. That Bob was actually killing. They were going getting close to bankruptcy because of because of him. Do you think he was a good drawer? Or oh, was not he a good drawer? Remember? I don't think I ever was on a card where it wasn't sold out. It was damn close. Right? Okay. And, and no matter whether I was working with him or somebody else, I, I, I just don't, don't believe. Straight, straight, straight to the top. We're living this life, not just dreaming it, we're doing it for real. 